Welcome to My Bible Thoughts with Pastor Rich Podcast. This is a time where I read a section of scripture and give you my thoughts on God's Word. Today's Bible study is going to be around six to seven minutes that you can use as a reflection time to draw near and commune with our God. I'm Pastor Rich. Thanks so much for being here with me today. My Bible verses for today are Acts chapter 5, verses 12 through 16, and I read from the NASB translation of the Bible if you're going to follow along with me. Now, in our last episode, we read that the church in the book of Acts is a pure and powerful church. And my main point today will be that even inside a church that is growing and has blessings, you will still see problems within that church. Read with me, starting in verse 12. At the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were taking place among the people, and they were all together in Solomon's portico. But none of the rest dared to associate with them. However, the people held them in high esteem. And increasingly, believers in the Lord, large numbers of men and women were being added to their number, to such an extent that they even carried the sick out into the streets and laid them on cots and pallets, so that when Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on any of them. The people from the cities in the vicinity of Jerusalem were coming together as well, bringing people who were sick or tormented with unclean spirits, and they were all being healed. So we saw that internally there were blessings and problems within this church, and now we're going to see blessings and problems outside the church. We saw in the verses before this, the hypocrites are dead. Ananias and Sapphira had lied not only to the congregation and to Peter, but they also had lied to God himself. And the witness of the church to the outsiders had been hurt and diminished But now the unity of the church is restored. We see that in these verses. And we see wonderful miracles being performed. Not just miracles, but also the text says signs. So signs are miracles that are intended to teach you something. When we track this word throughout the Old Testament, we learn that signs were given to warn people or to execute divine judgment or to deliver people from oppression. So we saw signs with Israel's exodus from Egypt. Uh, Signs were also given to guide and mark sacred time. And look carefully at this verse. Only the apostles were performing these miracles and signs. Only the apostles. Now that's a, a podcast for a later day, but it's something to think about as we go through these verses. Verse 13 shows that the power within that church caused fear among people on the outside. It says that nobody cared to join them. A pure church scares the outside world. Think of the power that that church wielded and the witness that it had. And I believe this has been the case of the church throughout history. So verse 13 says that some did not join. But when you get to verse 14, it shows that there's still a tremendous growth. So it does seem that a pure church is a powerful church and a growing church. And then in verse 15, something astonishing happens. So something astonishing happens in verse 15. The community brings their sick out onto the street and they laid them out on cots and pallets. At least the shadow of a disciple, the shadow of Peter would cross them. And then we see in verse 16, that just the shadow passing over the sick that were laid out in cots caused them to be healed. What a mighty time that was. So no wonder there were believers were increasing in number within that church. So we see they had great preaching by Peter, as seen in chapter 4, and then they had miracles and signs. This was a loving church. Nobody who had need was left out. And God saw fit to keep this place and he got rid of the hypocrites. So we see inside the church, there's blessings and problems. All the needy were taken care of, but Ananias and Sapphira were causing strife, and they were hypocrites in the eyes of the world. So there were blessings and problems inside the church. And we see in these verses that there are great blessings outside of the church. We see people getting healed. We see people coming to Christ. We see the church growing. 
in the next podcast that there were also problems outside the church. So those are my thoughts today on the end of Acts chapter 5, verses 12 through 16. Now on this podcast, of course, we lift up the Word of God as authoritative, real, and accurate. But I also want to place an equal importance on prayer. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these words that we've read today. We thank you for the book of Acts, and we thank you for this early church, Father, that it was a groundwork for the church today. Father, that our church is here today can mimic this church and have the purity and power that you displayed in your work. Father, we ask for encouragement. Give us strength to do everything that we must do. May we never forget Christ, that he's very much alive today and that he died for our sins. Verses be encouragement for our lives, that they might testify to your glory, that we might testify to your glory. I pray that if there's anybody listening that doesn't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, that the conviction of the Holy Spirit work on them today. We're thankful for the miracles that are all around us today, Lord. Just open our eyes to those, Father, so that we might praise you and lift you up. We're so thankful for you and your rich mercies upon our lives. And as we depart today, Lord, may none of us forget your Holy Son who died for our sins and now sits at your right hand very much alive and in glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I want to thank you for following me and letting me be a part of your podcast routine. Thank you and have a great day.